Okay, hey everybody. Today we are gonna make my favorite. We are gonna make jambalaya. This is the only jambalaya I've ever had, so I don't really know if it's like true and authentic. So if anybody out there has had real jambalaya, I feel like you should make this and then let me know how good it is. I mean, it's good no matter what, but I don't know if it's like even close. I would imagine it is. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some bacon grease and we are going to fry up our sausage. Whew, God, I hate that smell. Whew. The sausage that we're using is Hillshire Farms, New Orleans sausage. Sometimes I've seen it labeled as uh, andouille sausage. And then sometimes it's New Orleans. So it's the same stuff. This recipe came from cooking with faith or cooking by faith. I don't remember exactly what that is. I'll put it in the description. I changed a couple of things. Um, I added more meat, less cauliflower. I reduced the chicken stock broth. And then I eliminated one of the steps because I didn't think it was necessary. I think it would be necessary in real jambalaya that has rice in it, but we're using cauliflower rice. It says to, at the very end, take off the heat and let it sit for 15 minutes and then stir it up and it's ready to serve. Well, there's no reason to do that in this situation because the cauliflower isn't gonna absorb like rice would, so. I'll put the link to the original recipe in the show notes and then I'll put my recipe in there and you can choose which one you wanna try. So we're gonna heat up the bacon grease and then add in two packs of the New Orleans andouille sausage. We're gonna taste test your veg. This is organic rice cauliflower from Costco. It's one pound. Um, I'm just gonna cook this and let it sit in here until we're ready to add it here. You don't have to do anything special to this cauliflower, which is great. So once you get your sausage brown, then you wanna add in your green pepper, onions, and celery. The recipe has you doing this in layers, kind of. Actually, she says to take the meat out and then put the stuff in. I don't do that. I don't feel like it's necessary. You wanna get everything nice and brown. Get all those brown bits up off the bottom. Yeah. Next up, we're gonna add in the green onions and the author of the recipe calls these grunions. Kinda like that. Looks so good. Okay, this looks amazing. I still have to peel my shrimp. So now we're gonna add in the tomatoes. Yeah. She specifically calls for, we're gonna add in the tomatoes. She specifically calls for Rotel tomatoes with green chilies. So that's what we're using. old school. Oh, I should have put the garlic in last time. Oh well. Whew. Yes, that is garlic. Tomatoes, hot sauce, and Cajun seasoning. Okay. This Cajun seasoning is from Aldi. It does not have sugar in it. Yes. This does not have sugar in it. Yay. She measures it, I don't measure. What do we have? We want a tablespoon of this. I like my stuff spicy and a tablespoon of this. That's probably more than a tablespoon. I don't care. I don't care. I like it spicy. My little granddaughter loves this too, baby spice. 
she's little. I mean, she's not even two, and she tears this up like nobody's business. Okay. We'll just let this go for a minute. It is. Oh my God, this is recording the whole time. Awesome. Well, I got the shrimp peeled. Let me turn this down. You can add in as much shrimp as you like. The recipe calls for one pound. Yep. Calls for one pound raw peeled shrimp. That's what I'm putting in today. Oftentimes, um, if I'm in a really shrimpy mood, then I'll put in two pounds. Um, you can switch out having two packages of the sausage for one. You can kind of just customize it the way you want. I want a very meat heavy dish. So I have the two packages of andouille sausage and this time just one pound of shrimp. Scrape down these sides. I gotta get a, get a little video of this. Girl, you better settle down. All right, what goes in next? Cauliflower rice and chicken stock. Okay, we can do that. This has been sitting in here a good little while. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the corner off of this and then just see if there's anything to drain out. There's a little bit, I can see it. All right, cauliflower goes in. Okay, this a cup. Calls for two cups, I'm only using a cup. You don't even really need that, you just need some. I like to add an extra layer of flavor to mine, so I put in a big chunk of butter. That's about two tablespoons, I think. It just adds a richness to it, which I love. And once that melts, I'm gonna put the shrimp in, and as soon as the shrimp are done, this is done, and we can get to eating. Okay. Can you hear the cat fight? Or hissing? Okay, time to add in the shrimp. This is raw, even though it looks cooked, it's raw. It's pink, wild caught shrimp. My favorite brand is um, from Lake Charlotte. That's the brand name, it's not from Lake Charlotte. All right, let me fold this in. I know how to fold things in. And you guys watch Schitt's Creek? That's a Schitt's Creek reference. Fold in the cheese, David. I know what that is. Okay, this looks fantastic. She says leave the lid off. No, maybe she says put the lid on. I already put my recipe away. So I'm gonna put the lid on and just let it go for five minutes and then check my shrimp. And once the shrimp is done, this is done. And this is the finished product. Okay, I think we're done. The shrimp is done. One thing that's really great about this dish is that even after you reheat it, the shrimp doesn't get all weird and rubbery or anything. It's fantastic. You know, sometimes if you over if you overcook shrimp, not sometimes, if you overcook cook shrimp, it gets rubbery. But even in this situation, when you reheat it, because it makes a lot, it's perfect. So let's plate this up. I love butter. Oh, I don't feel like I need that much. So I'm gonna put a little pat of butter in here because I like it. I eat this with a spoon because I wanna get all of that goodness. Um, you can add salt to taste. I already put a little bit of salt in there when I did a midway cooking taste test. I didn't show that. I feel like you can figure that part out yourself. I was looking at myself, whoops. Which I'm not even looking at myself because I can't actually see that far. I can just see that I'm in frame. <laughs> All right, let me get, this is my favorite sausage. Red wine is fantastic with this. Also, um, a low carb beer is really good too. I mean, or water or whatever. If you're gonna pair something though, you might as well go all the way and pair something good. Mm. Oh, so good. 
Oh my god. Mmm. It has just the right amount of kick to it. It's not like super hot, like you're gonna be, sweat's gonna pour down your face. Just a little bit of kick. I mean, I, could, I would even like a little bit more, but this is so good and it's so rich. There's, you know, the fat from the bacon grease, the fat from the butter, the fat from the sausage. Mmm, the vegetables all pair together perfectly. Let me try the shrimp. Mm. Mm. That's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect and it's easy. All my favorite things. It's perfect, easy, and tastes good. Perfect. You got that? It's perfect. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just gonna get after this. Oh god, this is good. Oh my god, I hope you guys make this. It's so good. Mmm. Mm. Talking with my mouth full. That's my MO. Alright, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Mmm. Delicious.